There have always been anime moments that make the spectator experience a torrent of emotions. From beating a challenging opponent to losing a dear buddy, these events will be remembered by fans for years to come. The feelings you feel when you witness a character utterly lose himself in wrath, on the other hand, are by far the ones that keep most spectators on the edge of their seats. Here is our selection of the greatest anime rage scenes of all time. Naruto vs Pain Naruto had advanced pretty far as a ninja at this time, accumulating an overwhelming amount of power, but his opponent was Pain. Prior to this encounter, Pain had proved to fully represent his name, even providing fans with one of the most heartbreaking scenes in the whole Naruto series. Pain was more powerful than Jiraiya, Naruto's beloved mentor and one of the legendary Sanin. Seeing this giant collapse in the encounter with Pain cemented his reputation as a lethal opponent. Pain demonstrated his might even further when he beat and chained Naruto, only for Hinata to intervene despite knowing she was considerably outmatched. Naruto snapped after witnessing Hanada being tossed around like a ragdoll before assuming she had been slain, unleashing the rage of the Nine Tails. In his wrath, Naruto changed and summoned eight tails of strength before attacking Pain. The struggle appeared to be the unleashing of a beast into the world, with even Pain spending a massive amount of strength to suppress him. It was simply breathtaking. summons him forth. Let's go!
should I do? I'm here to... Destroy everything. <laughs> going to have to increase its size then. Master, does he now control the Nine Tails? <laughs> Goku versus Frieza. Many anime fans began with the fundamentals. Dragon Ball Z was one such anime, with a fantastic soundtrack and great combat sequences for the time. But the most famous moment was undoubtedly the first time Goku transformed into a Super Saiyan. Goku has always been a carefree person, but his wrath had reached new heights at this point. Frieza was an extremely formidable adversary, and despite all of Goku's training, he was unable to beat him. That is, until Frieza made the mistake of murdering Krillin, his best buddy. Seeing Krillin dying and understanding that Frieza was determined to murder even his son, Goku eventually cracks and changes into the one thing Frieza was most frightened of, a Super Saiyan. Goku pours his wrath on Frieza, decimating the alien conqueror, even going so far as to humiliate him by allowing him to power up to his maximum, before defeating him again and leaving him to die on an exploding Namek. Although the visuals aren't as impressive as those featured in more current series, the impact of the entire scenario and the introduction of a Super Saiyan was nothing to scoff at, becoming ingrained in many people's memories. It's time to finish this fight once and for all! Hey, look out behind you! Get down now! My own attack? gave you some of my own energy. You should be able to move. Go and do as you like with it. Now learn. Learn what happens when you mess with the most powerful being in the universe! Huh? Oh, you fool! Levi Ackerman vs. the Beast Titan. In the universe of Attack on Titan, we're all familiar with the food chain. The humans are at the bottom, followed by the Titans, and finally the two Ackermans of the series, with Levi taking home the belt of an apex predator. 
Levi was always the calm and cool figure, and there were just a few instances where we saw him in a bind. But what happens when such a character loses all of his friends and the man he admires? The scouts are trapped between an unyielding wall and a circle of titans, with no way out. The beast titan decimates the structures by tossing boulders with the might of cannons, while the scouts lose their underwear. Captain Irwin, seeing their impending death, decides to make one last stand by diverting the titan long enough for Levi to approach him. Levi eventually approaches the beast titan as he wipes out the last scouts beyond the wall, with a fervent speech in the backdrop. He then annihilates him completely in a fit of wrath that sends shivers down our spines. Seeing the actual depth of Levi's skills and how he turns the opponent who represented such a danger to the Eldians into mince meat is both rewarding and breathtaking to witness. Is this Levi? My name! Uh, what the? I can't see! Did he take out my eyes? My legs! What's wrong? Not enjoying yourself so much anymore? I'll hide you. I won't make it in time! Come on, let's have some fun! Gone Freaks vs Neferpedo. In the world of Hunter x Hunter, there was no shortage of formidable characters. From powerful elderly guys to strange-looking chimera ants that can rip your limbs off and use your bones as toothpicks, there's something for everyone. Neferpedo was one of these chimera ants. This character was a beast in terms of Nen powers and strength, as seen by how they dispatched the top-level hunter, Kite. But Neferpedo eventually realized that murdering Gon's father figure and idol wasn't the wisest course of action. We watch the happy-go-lucky hero we all know and love finally crack as Gon discovers Kite is actually gone with no possibility of revival. Dark aura begins to writhe about Gon, resulting in a magnificently awful picture. The audience, and even Neferpedo, recognizes that the strength is comparable to that of the Chimera Ant's ruler, Marion. With every ounce of his contractual potential on show, Gom leads Neferpedo out and decimates them, slamming the ant's skull before concluding everything with a massive explosion. The art was brilliantly done during Gon's anger, and it was without a doubt one of the finest rage moments in anime. Come this way. Just follow me.
okay. I'm fine. I'm actually kind of happy. Goon. I feel a little better now. Guts and the God Hand. This moment is at the top of the list. This was not even a brawl. It was just pure, unbridled hatred against God-like beings. Berserk has always been a dark anime with mature themes, but nothing impacted the narrative more than the twist in which Guts lost everything. All at once, he lost his closest friend, his buddies, and his sweetheart. Image witnessing everyone around you die, being sacrificed by your closest friend and then image that friend destroying everything you hold dear, even defiling the person you love. Guts' most ferocious fury was unleashed at the same time Griffith sacrificed everyone for power. Guts worked tirelessly to defend Casca and save Griffith during the eclipse, only to be chained by a beast and watch as Griffith attacked Casca. His wrath is so unbridled that he begins hacking off his own arm with a crude blade, tearing through bone and sinew before fighting a being that anyone in their right mind would recognize as being out of their league. In this epic fury moment, Guts actually goes insane, and no anime has had the same emotional effect as this one. As many other admirers can attest, Griffith's popularity has not subsided.
There are various furious moments in anime, but these are the ones we'll be focusing on for this list. If you recall any more anime with incredible fury scenes, please leave a comment and let us know because who doesn't want to see their favorite characters go utterly insane?